Hi and thank you very much for watching. My name is Alex from Bluecube and this is a video on how to use the phone link software with the IPEX phone system. So once you've got phone link installed you load it up using the phone icon here. It will then load up a green lamp that you need to right click and click main menu to open the main phone link screen. So when you're in this screen as you can see you've got six options. You've got make a call, messages, call history, address book, presence and settings. So I'll go through them one by one, but first of all we'll go to make call. So first of all is dial. As you can see you've got a dial pad here that you can use just by clicking. You then send the call by pressing the arrow here. You can also use the numbers on your keyboard and press enter. Below that you've got features, so it may be a feature like call diver or voicemail. Again you can use the dial pad or the numbers on your keyboard and again to send it is enter or click the arrow there next is search so search does exactly what it says you can search through your address book but also if you've got CRM integration you can search through your CRM system as well so if we just type in Bluecube into here press enter and then you can see look Bluecube Tele and 01522 717 750 so if we then want to dial Bluecube we simply click on the number and it will make a call it comes up in the main screen and down here and as you can see it's got location is Lincoln notes business telecommunications provider and that's that basically you can hang up here put a call on hold to call transfer but I'll go through that later on in the video so if we just hang that up quickly and go back to make a call so we've done feature we've done search go down to recent and as you can see the blue is any calls you've just made and the red is incoming calls so there's the call that we've just made to Bluecube Tele at 8 minutes past 2 perfect it's saved there so if you then want to call that again or you've missed a call coming in you just again click on the number and that will ring straight through on the main screen and in the bottom right as well you can also hang up from the call using this button here so if we click on that it comes back to the main screen last one I'll make a call is favourites so favourites works a little bit like a speed dial so you can see blue cube saved there if you want to add a new one simply click new type in the, the details here click save and it'll add itself to there um, but again that works a little bit like a speed dial on a phone so that's the the main bit for make a call next up we've got call history so again it's pretty self-explanatory it shows you any calls coming in any calls you've made out and if it is dark blue then that means that it's been answered if it's dark red it means that you've answered it uh, and if it's light blue or light red it means that, that it was, wasn't answered at all so that's what they mean if you have the number saved in your address book as you see Bluecube Tele is showing up here so you can see who's who that number is but if it's not saved in your address book then it will come up as a location or unknown so here we've got Bedford and unknown if we would then want to save that number as a person click on the name and this will come up here so you can add a company, a contact or an individual depending on who it is that you want to add so I'll close that down close down call history and move on to the next one which is presence so as you can see we've got all the extensions of the phone system we've got green lights we've got red lights and then we've got blue and red arrows as well so the green lights means they're available so you can right click and make a call to them see the call history or send them a message if it's a red light as you can see so that means they're on the phone a red light with a red arrow means that it's an, they've answered an inc incoming call. You'll also notice that Peter Welch is having a call come in because it's flashing. You can then pick up that call and you can see that call there. So we'll hang that up. So that's the, the main features of the presence. You've got green orbs which is available, red which is busy and then blue and red arrows depending on whether they've answered an incoming call or made an outgoing call. If it's flashing red then their extension is ringing it may be that you know that they're at the office um, you know they're on holiday or they've gone for lunch then you can pick up that call straight away and answer it how you like so we'll close that down just by clicking the cross here then move on to the next one so we've got messages so this is instant messaging between the extensions of the phone system 
So it's useful if a call comes in and you try and transfer it through and you see that they're not they're not available. So you send them a quick message saying who it was with the number and then they can call it back when they're ready. Saves passing post-it notes around the office. Uh, the other main use for this is if you've got an urgent, urgent question for someone and they're on the phone, then you can simply send them a message and then they can type back to you even if they are on a different phone call. So to send a message, you simply click new and type in here either their extension number or name. So if we send one to 205, click here, type what you want. So test message, click send, and then go back to messages and it appears there. So you'll be able to see their reply will come under last message when it was sent and then you can delete it if you need to. So that's the main message system. If someone sends you a message, um, it doesn't matter if you're not in the message part of the phone link, it will pop up in the bottom right here as a message coming through who sent it and when. So that's messages, we've done make call, call history, presence, messages and last but not least is address book. So as you can see here there's three main ways to search, who, where and what. If we just click search without typing anything in it will show up all the, all the contacts that we have in the address book. So if you then want to call one of those contacts, you don't have to copy and paste it into the dial pad, you simply click on the number and it will call down here. So we'll hang that up, close that down and go back onto address book here. If you want to add an address book entry, click create new. Then again, you've got company contact individual and put in the relevant information. If you put in notes, then when they call in, their notes will flash up. So you can see it's handy if you, you can see what the last conversation that I had with this customer was or who's calling in before you answer the phone. So we close down that and close down the address book. They're the main features of PhoneLink. If you need any more information on the settings side of PhoneLink, then give the Bluecube team a call. The, the number to call us on is 01522 717 750. So that's 01522 717 750 and one of the team will be happy to help. Thanks very much for watching and if you do have any more questions, we look forward to hearing from you soon.